Hey everyone, I am Zeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In my previous video, I introduced you to the concept of content projection in Angular and how it can be used to design flexible components. In this video, I will continue with that and show you how to add multiple slots for content projection. Previously, we had created a profile page which had different kinds of profile data. Now imagine if we have to allow the user to edit any of our profile information. One way could be to add a button to this place right here to edit or update the data. Now we can make this actions button a part of the component itself but we need to make it more flexible. So for example, we would like the caption to be different for different kinds of data. For balance for example, we would like the caption to be recharged because it makes more sense. Also on some data such as uh, for example the photo, we would like two buttons one for uploading from the computer and one from uploading from your Google Drive. So let's see how we can do this. To allow this flexibility we can use content projection and send in the buttons from outside the component just like we did with the content. There is just one issue though. Our ng content tag is already there and only allows us to project one content. Fortunately in Angular we can also specify multiple slots for content projection. So for the ng content we can specify a select with different selectors. So for example we can specify um, a class name here. So this means that uh, this will select all content with a class title. And we can also select by tag name. So for example this is, all, this is going to select all h1 tags from the content and lastly we can also specify a custom attribute so for example we can write actions and now this is going to uh, select all content with the actions attribute let's continue and use this but we are going to add this not to this main content but our specific place that we want uh, at the top of the element so here we are going to quickly add a div which has a value of flex grow so that it expands and reaches to the end of the row and then we are going to specify our ng content tag and we are going to select our, uh, uh, our content with a custom attribute of actions. Now to actually send this actions button all we have to do is to specify a button here and let's make it edit and then specify our custom attribute and as you can see we have a button here uh, projected from the outside in this specific place this looks a bit shabby though so let's quickly create an action button component to standardize the appearance First, we'll create a new component called action button. Next, we'll add the template for the component. We already have something prepared here. And lastly, we're going to add the inputs. Uh, one is icon, and the other is the label. Next, we'll just use the uh, component in our profile data items. and see how it looks. So here we are sending the icon as edit and the label as edit and don't forget to specify our selector. Great, so we have our edit button here. Now let's add it to the rest of our data items as well. So for the balance uh, here we would like uh, the button to be called recharge because that makes more sense and let's make it actions and let's make the icon as payment and the label as recharge okay let's see how it looks okay recharge Okay, so for the date of birth, we, uh, we are just going to copy this, so it's going to be the same, 
for the status we don't need any button because the status is not going to be changed it is not it should not be changed by the user and for the photo since we need to have two buttons we will need to add uh, a div a containing div and let's make it a flex row okay and let's add two action buttons here the first button would be uh, the icon would be upload and the this would be upload label will be upload and then there will be an option for insert this code drive file because we are allowing uh, upload from uh, google drive and uh, the label would be google drive or let's say g drive okay now to uh, show all of this in that specific show both of these in this specific uh, place we are going to add the action selector to this whole div okay and let's see how this looks great uh, we just need a bit of space here so we are going to add a margin here as well margin right one great this looks fine and for the bio as well we are going to add the same thing which would be edit great so as you can see we can have different buttons projected inside the component to suit our flexible needs in this case now this technique of multi slot projection is also used in angular material components for example in the material card component so if you have used that you will notice that it is allows selectors like mat card title to specify the title and subtitle of the card if you go and look at its source code on github you will notice the same select being used to utilize multi slot projection this allows us to use the material cards layout but add our own custom styles as well if needed and project content from the outside so content projection is a great little technique that you can use to create reusable but more flexible components i hope you liked this video and if you did please subscribe to be notified of future videos thanks for watching